welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, you probably know that we're in a little bit of a different place than last time. Stuff happened. Game recording software was brutally ruined. And yeah, so all that happened last episode that you haven't seen is I made PD Pirate Parrot, which got a 9.75. And apparently that game, that one game, was enough to boost me up into a new room. I made this when I got to the new room, it sucked. And it sucks to suck. So, okay, so what's changed is I am able to hire employees. I've got two right here. Ethan Waters and Chris Maley. And I can train my employees. I can make them research different things. I can do all sorts of things. And uh, another thing that happened, Vino Oasis came out. Oh, and see, when they get tired, i got to send them on vacation. Yeah, but the Vino Oasis came out. And I can also do publishing deals which is cool and that's what I'm actually doing next but I'm getting ready I was preparing at least but now I'm just stalling as my money slowly drops um, hurry up Ethan get back here so we can work on this game buddy yeah let's see how much I'm losing a month oh jeez hurry up oh my god what's taking him so long it's one of those vacations you just don't want to come back from okay I'm starting without him whatever Finding a publishing deal. Hunting strategy. Fantasy any genre. Game dev any genre. Game dev simulation. I think that's my best shot to go. I don't have to game dev researched. <sighs> While he's on vacation for like... Oh, wait, no, he's back now. Okay, before I do a publishing deal, let's make our own game. Because we're tired of being pushed around by publishers. Yeah, that was actually what I was focusing on. I was going to make a medium game. It was going to be like completely new. It would change everything. So let's see. I do believe I made a Wild West. I think I made a medieval strategy game. I can't wait till I get sequels so I can start making other games. But let's make... I want to make a sequel to Bridge Racer. Actually, yeah, I'm going to research fantasy if I have enough to. And then I'm going to do one of their stupid their life sucking publishing deals okay so yeah but while that's happening I, I don't want to train anybody because he'll be done pretty quickly and we're still losing money let's develop a new game it'll be oh wait no I'm doing a publishing deal I'm all over the place right now it's this new recording software. It's confusing me. Uh, fantasy any genre. Or, or wasn't there another fantasy one? Oh, nope. By Ubersoft. I wonder what that is. Uh, let's make a fantasy any genre. Uh, fantasy RPG. Everybody does those. Rated E. Medium. And we'll call it... Names. You know, they got problems. Uh, uh, first, and... Fantasy. Yeah, hold your applause forever <laughs> on that name. Game engine number two. We need to make a new game engine as well, but we're a little bit low on funding, as you see. So let's start that development. Oh, jeez. Work. Work, people. Mush. Uh, okay, so medium games, you have to drag your staff to each place. And you have to see which person would be best for the job. And medium games get really complicated, and it's not going to be easy to do this. Especially since I started way too early. Probably shouldn't have done that. And there's also, well, I don't have enough things yet, but there's a percentage that you can only do a certain things over on this side. It gets really complicated. But in the meantime, let's make a good fantasy RPG. I'm going to focus a lot on the story and quest, and I have the best design. So I guess I'll have me do that. Let me bring it down a little bit, so I'm not doing too much. I mean, and then I guess uh, I'll have him do this, and him do this, and we'll be off. Let's go, let's go. See, they're working hard at work as the game lags. Dang, this is a uh, quite the lag spike. I don't want to blame my new recording software, but... But look, I can do this with it. I can draw stuff. Paint on the screen. See, look, that's how much design we have before it stops lagging. 
And now I can't figure out... <laughs> For a second, I couldn't figure out how to stop drawing. Professional. Okay. We're done with lagging. Lagging, flagging. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, AI, not too important. Focus on the dialogues. We want this to really speak to you. This game really has to speak to you. And by, by speak to you, I mean that literally. Like, they'll talk and, you know. The Quillionaire will be done by this. How about we do Chris Malley? Chris Malley. And the AI will be done by Quillionaire. Scratch your head while you still can. Lag spikes, lag spikes, lag spikes, lag spikes, lag spikes, lag spikes. Yeah, this is all kind of a work in progress, this entire series, I mean. Hopefully, not only will my games get better, my recording software will too. And I'll slowly learn how to master it and whatever. I don't know. This episode's gonna be the slowest episode ever, though. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Only three bugs, though. Right now, new topics are popular. This is a new topic. It should be pretty popular with kids, right? Why does... Come on, why does it have to lag so much here, but my mouse is moving, like, 300 miles a minute? That's not too fast, is it? Whatever. Yeah, and then... Oh, goodness. I think it'll all take 33%. Yeah, okay, so uh, uh, they're gonna go over, but uh, I'm gonna have to bring them down. Uh, Chris Malley. It's gonna bring them up, though. Darn it, this is hard. I have to balance it completely. How about Ethan Waters? Oh, no, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. What if I brought. Oh, wait. I can't bring him up any. Would I go like this? No, this is not help helping. You know what? I'm just gonna. You know what? If you get tired, then go do whatever you guys do on your lunch break. Before I sleep. Because they're working like 24 7. I haven't seen these guys leave the office once, except for him when he went to go get on a vacation on the last episode that you didn't see. But that's another time. I could release the audio for the last episode, but who really cares at this point? <laughs> it's a lost cause. And this episode, I don't even... Just, just, let's just pretend this episode only half happened. Because just the lag's horrible. I didn't prepare for this. And we have a lot of research points. What do you know? Okay, lag seems to have gone down. There we go. And we're only down a million dollars since before we started. That's a great combo. I already know. Don't think you can, like, trend match, too. Oh, this is going to be great. And, uh, what? He's been here for, like, two weeks. Uh, I guess it's two years in game time. Character progression, eh? Yeah, well. Uh, train. You need to become better. Stop repeating yourself or something. Think. Actually, no, game dev gems. I'm pretty sure that's the balanced one. And actually, we have a lot of research, so let's start researching things. You research. Uh, I can't do 3D graphics V2. Let's do marketing. I don't have enough money to market it anyways. I'll go simple cutscenes. Here comes first fantasy. Very good. I'll take it. They focus on story and quest serve this game very well. I'll take it. Can't wait for the sequel. Oh, sequel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we've thought that far ahead. Yeah, of course. We we are the sequel's already done pretty much. We we just need to put some finishing touches. You'll see it at E three this year. Now speaking of E three actually, uh sooner or later we're gonna start getting G three, which is the uh parody of E three. And we're gonna start using that pretty soon. And you'll see, yeah, well it may not make sense now, but sooner or later. Uh should I do I'll do better dialogues. I'll move slow with it. Gosh, 2D graphics V3. Work, work, work. Lag, lag, lag. Work, work, work. Lag, lag, lag. Ah, whatever. While they're lagging and working, let's look around the room. Cool, edgy. Duck, rabbit, no hedgehog. Wow, poor Sonic. Uh, 
Oh, what? Ubersoft. Yes, I forgot. I, I forgot it was even a publishing contact. Okay, whatever. Wow, this episode is really rewarding. You guys wait this time to see one video or one game. Don't worry, it's all worth it. At least you, you didn't lose the footage altogether. Simple cutscenes. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super. And that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. I love that name. They've been waiting for this moment, and it seems they will not be disappointed. Good. It is simply super. <laughs> is that, was that really Nintendo's, like, mindset? They're like, this is super. Let's call it the Super NES. Okay, so, uh, this guy needs to go on vacation. But, um, I don't know. That, there's not much more to do this episode. As you see, I got a lot of money since I was with a publisher. And more people play it. And I guess I should probably just end the episode here. Because next episode I'll have everything sorted out, hopefully. Well, we can hope. But, <laughs> let's be honest. What? Some dedicated fans of MLG the Pro have be created a fan game using a lot of material from our game, eh? <laughs> I forgot all about MLG the Pro. Wasn't that the first game I made? <laughs> Let them be. That was literally the first game I made, and people are still upset about it. I mean, they're just raving. I bet it's a cult classic at this point. <laughs> MLG the Pro. Okay, so uh, that's all for this episode, I guess. First Fantasy, yeah, whatever. We made one game. Congratulations.